uh, you know, there's, there's a few things to be said there. Um, so first of all, we looked at uh, a number of safety endpoints, which were important because obviously this was a novel combination of two experimental compounds uh, and the results again were really reassuring. Uh, we looked at a variety of efficacy endpoints including the gold standard in the field which is the functional rating scale uh, and the results were compelling uh, and we're also now looking at the open label extension to uh, look at survival. Um, the, the original uh, trial, the center trial, the randomized trial was uh, relatively short, uh, only six months and so it's very important to consider its results um, in combination with the open label extension that provides longer term um, outcomes. Um, and, and I would say that you know, um, all, all of the detailed uh, results will be um, published soon um, in a medical um, journal and will be presented at future medical conferences. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to share all the details very soon. But I think again, we were uh, really excited about the results. To be honest, every time we run a trial, we don't know the results until the very end. Obviously, I was hopeful, we had seen promising signs, but you never know until you lock the database and you break the blind and you look at the results. Uh, so that was a great day when, uh, again, our hope was, you know, um, we found that, uh, you know, all our hopes were grounded in something that was really uh, compelling. And so that was phenomenal to find out. Yes, this, this was an important trial. Um, each compound uh, as an individual agent had already been uh, tested in ALS in some um, small trials, but this was the first time that we were testing the combination. So the, the trial was really important and provided critical data, both in terms of safety and efficacy. And now, um, as I said earlier, we are continuing to monitor uh, longer term effects uh, as part of the open label extension. So the trial was really important and gave us the confidence that at this point now we know what to expect when we give the drug as a combination. So, so the open label study is still ongoing. Uh, the goals of that are to assess the longer term safety and therapeutic potential of the drug, uh, including its impact on survival, as I mentioned. Uh, and so the trial will provide additional data on top of the results of the uh, six month double blind center trial. So data um, is still being collected because the study is ongoing, uh, but uh, we are going to um, basically be um, putting together another publication, a second publication, which we um, uh, hope to be uh, publishing in a peer-reviewed journal in the second half of 2020. And we've had people on drug for longer than two years now as part of the open label extension. So I think it's going to be exciting data uh, to see um, you know, later this year.